Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 9th through December 16th, 2020. Please do note that it is a general message, so the messages can come through as one big storyline, as individual messages crisscross backwards, reverse. Please use your own discernment in what is the, what is meant for you and what is meant for someone else. Do not try to make anything fit. Feel free to check your other planetary placements. If you are unsure or unaware what those are, there is a link in the description box for a free natal calculator that will help you find that information. All right, my beautiful Aquarius, just one really quick announcement. All my love readings are currently on sale for the holidays. General and couples love readings, as well as singles, are on for $10. And for those of you that love the singles no x spread there is a um reading that is temporarily being offered for seven dollars as well information about that and the contest giveaway that i am doing for the channel for christmas season is in the description box so feel free to drop down and take a look and gander if you so do choose all right aquarius we are going to take a look at your energies and see what is going on for you for the month of this well, the month of December for the week of the 9th through the 16th. All right. Let's take a look here. All right. So at the heart of the matter, you have the Ace of Wands. So this is a spark of passion, a new idea, a new project, something that has definitely stirred your creative mojo for a lot of you i feel like this could be work related um project i'm getting um for some of you this could be an art project a writing project uh, for others of you this could be work this could be something you know also anything that you're very passionate about this could be a new relationship for some of you what is crossing it is the king of pentacles so this is looking at the long-term stability the endurance the ability to that's going to you know your resources your abilities what you're capable of giving to the situation, Aquarius. In the distant past, we have the magician. So we have the ability here um, to turn things around, to manifest. You guys, some of you may have been trying to manifest something into reality. You could also have been dealing with somebody who, let's face it, could have been a bit manipulative, right? Manipulating the energies and the situations you a little bit, Aquarius, or vice versa. We'll take a look and get clarifiers on that. All right, wow. So, uh, recent past, you have the Queen of Pentacles coming through. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Could there be a spark of passion or wanting to re reunite it between this King and Queen? We'll take a look here very shortly. Crowning this is the Three of Cups. So, this is good news, celebration, joy, happiness, reconciliation for some of you. This is the desire, the want to. Um, Future energy coming in is the world. So something is ending and a new cycle is beginning. A very beautiful card here, Aquarius. How you are seeing yourself, how others are seeing you, is the Page of Cups. So you could be wanting to offer love to somebody. Someone could be offering you love. This could be an exchange of apologies. Again, this could be an offer for a project, a passion, a, a new... Uh, option being presented here for to you or you could be presenting it to someone else outside influences is the four of cups so somebody's not very happy there's a sense of discontentment uh boredom disinterest here we'll take a again we'll get clarifiers on this is outside of you aquarius all right hopes and fears you do have the devil energy capricorn showing up that card can mean so many things so you know, from addiction to obsession to overindulgence, self, you know, critical judgment, codependency, uh, toxic patterns and behaviors in relationships, or, you know, just a need for moderation, anything in excess. There's so much that that can represent. So I don't want to take any ganders. We'll get clarifiers on it. Um, possible outcome, future energy moving in is the page of swords. So you could be keeping an eye on somebody. Somebody could be keeping an eye on you, Aquarius. To be seeking out information in order to make a decision. It's a fact-finding mission going on there. Out, okay, so overall energy is the tower. So something has been 
brought to your attention. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is an epiphany, a moment of a reckoning, like I'm seeing things coming into light. Um, so maybe long held beliefs and patterns could be disappearing, dissipating. What has not been, you know, stable a foundation for you is being destroyed so that only what is true and honest and not an illusion remains. So this is definitely quick, swift changes that are happening here or the ability to have it happen here. <clears throat> and in the um, subconscious mind and the hidden energy, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is a love offer. Again, here it is. Either you're offering it, a sweep you off your feet, romantic kind of love could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you. But there's definitely love in the air here. All right, for some of you. And the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you are weighing your options, right? Trying to make a decision here. All right, or maybe this could also be bringing things into balance. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, let's clarify the cards on the table for my beautiful Aquarius, starting with this Ace of Wands in the heart of the matter. What is this Ace of Wands? Please show me clearly and precisely. Thank you. All right, so we get the Empress with the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Taurus, and Aries, and this Empress for me. But it can be any sign, guys. So there's a lot of fear, um, things that are hidden. Um, somebody's not maybe not really completely expressing how they truly feel. Um, could be concealing it is what I'm, I'm getting with this card. Um, this is about sparking that new that new passion, uh, starting something new, create creating new beginnings here, cultivating and and growth in the potential of a new relationship or the or the continuation of one. Again, there is a lot of fears and someone's going to have to be brave and courageous, whether this is you, Aquarius, or the person that you're dealing with. Someone needs to be brave and courageous. Uh, again, I'm getting the sense that you know, when I'm seeing the, the Knight, King of Pentacles with that strength card, somebody's not, and the moon, somebody's not expressing how they feel. They're, they're very much concealing it. All right. Oh, it could be a cancer some of you guys are dealing with. Okay. All right. Spirit guides, angels, what is this King of Pentacles energy, please? The Three of Cups with the Hanged Man. Yeah, I feel like this is you, Aquarius, wanting to reconcile, wanting good news, wanting to reasons to celebrate, to be happy, to be joyful. But they are in the Hanged Man motion. You're not taking any action on this and this moment for some of you. Again, this could be wanting to reconcile. Wanting a new opportunity, but not quite trusting that you have all the information or trusting the situation. The Seven of Swords is definitely at play here. All right, what is this magician in the distant past, please? Okay, so we're getting the Page of Swords there with the Two of Swords. Yeah, with the Lovers and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is you trying to manifest love into your life, happiness, reconciliation for some of you with your Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is being at a crossroads, caught between two places, two persons, two things, needing to make a decision. And the Page of Swords is you seeking out the information, the energy, the wisdom, the knowledge in order to be able to make that decision. Again, this could be you manifesting the, the wisdom and knowledge in order to make this decision. But I feel like more so that you guys were manifesting a honest to God soulmate, true love. Love, uh, love of your life kind of situation, which is going to make you truly happy, joy, happiness, and bliss in all aspects of your life. But it was needing to release something from your past in order to be able to do this, to move forward. Um, again, there's some of you looking at reconciliation with your Queen of Pentacles, your divine match here. All right, what is this Queen of Pentacles energy? Current, uh, recent past. All right, we're getting the Nine of Pentacles. With the Ten of Wands and the Magician as the King of Wands. Okay. So, we got the, this is a stress, this is a burden. We got the Magician here. So, as the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. What I'm feeling here, okay, somebody could have been single. Then this could have been stressing you out. This could be somebody who was looking pretty good to you guys, Aquarius, or you to them. But somebody looked really good on paper. They looked awesome standing in their own power. This could be a powerhouse, a businesswoman, so, you know, or male, um, man or woman here. So 
somebody is feeling very secure about themselves, not nearly needing anything. There's no codependency issues within this, with this in this dynamic. This is standing in their own feet, feeling pretty good. This, you know, very well could have, you know, could have you been trying to manifest this person into your life. Um, this could have made you feel very stressed out, very burdensome. There was a need to break free of something that you felt chained to, like something that you that was, you know, expected. I'm getting expected of you and needing to break free of it. And there it is. There is the sword, the knowledge, the truth coming forward and the death card, the an ending, a new beginning, a resurrection <clears throat> and forward movement to a new beginning. Now, again, that's not going to apply to all of you, but this is going to apply to some of you. And Aquarius, if some of you are by any chance connecting to a cancer, I would definitely go back and look at their reading. There's so many similarities already showing up in this one. All right, what is this Three of Cups? Crowning this reading, the Seven of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. So somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody wants to be back in that happiness, that joy, that celebration, this bliss, right? Some of you, this is about getting back together with somebody, and there it is. There is unconditional love here. There's absolutely no denying that. There's definitely an overwhelming love gang, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy in this King of Cups. But there is a need for patience here, a waiting. There's there's a period of waiting happening here. Um, somebody is feeling wounded. Somebody may be blocking the other person, blocking this Queen of Cups. So, this, I mean, look at this. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Now we have the King and Queen of Cups. So there is that, there's obstacles in this way. There's this sense of, of victimhood, of, of patience, of waiting, of being tired and exhausted. But there's also this feeling of wish fulfillment and temperance. So this tells me that, that, you know, this would be a situation where there's definitely a lot of energies that are being kind of off, throwing everything off balance. So there's a need to bring this relationship into balance. There is a need for healing. So somebody here feels wounded and very guarded. And I feel like both of you may be guarded against the other. So this may be why the Seven of Pentacles here are telling you all in divine timing this will come together. But right now there's a sense of needing to heal. What is this world, future energy coming in to this scenario? Okay, so the page of wands and the two of wands. So there is a decision here to be made, Aquarius. Um, with the page of wands, this is starting out on a new adventure, a new beginning. There it is, that, that ace of wands, right? That passion, that spark, which relit your fire, your desire, your happiness. What you're really wanting to go and get. The old cycle has ended. That That's completed. If there was lies, manipulation, distrust, you know, whatever it was from the past, that has completed. It's a new cycle. It's a dawn of a new day. It's time for a new journey. Now the decision is yours to make, Aquarius. <clears throat> what are you going to choose? Which path are you going to take? That is the question being asked of you at this point in time. And that's a decision that's coming up in the future. I feel like you're going to try it. So yeah, this is definitely you. You're going to marry and make the right and balanced decision. You want to be fair in whatever decision that you reach or you make, whichever path you decide to take. You want it to be a balanced and fair decision. <clears throat> Some of you need to communicate. Or somebody needs to communicate with you. What is this page of cups energy, please? From my beautiful Aquarius. How you're being seen. Others are seeing you. Okay, so we get in the High Priestess, Pisces, and Castilian energy in that card. Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups with the Four of Wands, Aquarius. Either you want to offer your cup to someone or someone wants to offer it to you. You want to come in and you want to do this impulsively, very quickly, very rash. This is a partnership that you're longing for that you want to build into a commitment to a long-term stability, to marriage, to engagement, to the happily ever after. This could be somebody, a soulmate from your past that you feel at a loss with being without. You feel left out in the cold. They feel left out in the cold. Someone's feeling abandoned here or someone has a sense of abandonment issues, but you're not saying anything or they're not saying anything here. What is this Four of Cups? outside influence yeah your person's not happy Aquarius they feel like you've left them you've abandoned them they feel at a loss 
there's a very deep sense of unhappiness. They're feeling like this is completely over. They want a new beginning. They want to heal this, but they feel like this has ended with you. They feel like there is no hope. Wow. What is this devil? All right, Aquarius, there's something that you, in the hopes and fears, we're at the crossroads. You know that there's a decision to make and you know it's not easy. Um, there could be, again, some type of addiction, affliction, overindulgence, self-critical imposed thoughts and limitations you're placing upon yourself, toxic patterns, behaviors, codependency, anything that's fueling this, this devil energy. I feel like you feel like you're stuck, unable to make a decision. Or refusing to make one here you're at a crossroads and you know that there's something that you you know you're happy you're happy where you are I'm not gonna say that you're not happy or th this could be applied to them as well but somebody here is you know happy there there's a sense of contentment but there's a lack of fulfillment and you know that by making this decision there's something that you have to leave behind there's something that has to complete before you can break out and take the lead and lay down this burden so that what you've been trying to manifest this new beginning this empress your empress your divine feminine or masculine comes to you and it's going to take truth and honesty integrity and strength and being brave and courageous to break free and bring out whatever needs to be said here to make this decision what is this page of swords King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, Aquarius. At the end of the day, I feel like you and your person are keeping an eye on each other, right? I, I, when I see this, there is something in the past that needs to be forgiven, released, let go of. For true happiness and love to come in through here. It's all possible. Both of you are in a place of discontentment and unhappiness. And I feel like this is where you're at. You're at the fi fact-finding mission, both of you, keeping an eye on each other, looking at the long-term stability, wanting to reconcile, knowing that you're each, each other's happiness, that you're each other's love. But it's making that decision. All comes down to that decision. And that is your reading, Aquarius. Plain and simple. It's all coming down to a decision that needs to be made, either by you or your person. I feel like they... You know, when I'm looking at this reading for a lot of my Aquarius, I feel like you have a lot of passion and love for this person. I feel like it runs very, very deep. The problem here is your person doesn't know it. They feel like this is over, that you've left them, that you've abandoned them, that they're out in the cold, that there is no hope. They feel that there is no hope here. When there's plenty of hope to be had, they just don't know it. Or maybe that's what you're learning today, Aquarius. All right. That is all I have for you at this time. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If it did not, no worries. This means this reading was not meant for you at this time. Check your other planetary placements. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like and subscribe button. We would love to have you part of the Kasserian Soul family. Last but not least, guys, remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.